Hello haunters and people in YouTube land. This is Pat from Wolfsbane Hollow giving you a look at my uh, yard, my graveyard this year. Unfortunately, I cannot do nighttime, so this is it. We have the arch with all the cobwebs. Here are my ravens, one that survives, one that doesn't survive so well. Did vines to hide some of the support for the arch, and those are out of plastic bags. The raven that hasn't survived so well. Let's take a tour here. Did get some extra fence made this year and also put a bottom rail on. So a few improvements. And what I did have a lot of to decorate with this year are dead branches. Can't complain, they're spooky and they're free. And yes, I know most of my old tombstones are store-bought, but we're starting to make some modifications on them. I'll show you in a minute how I have two of this one right here. This one's the way it came. In a second, I'll show you the way I modified it just a little bit. And here we have George. He looks a little bit distressed today. I guess he's got a headache or a hangover from partying too hard on Halloween. A Kirby's find. People throw away the darndest things, don't they? Just because it's broken, they think it's no good. And I didn't have any Spanish, Spanish moss, so I thought I'd try a little bit of tulle. Not sure about the blue, but it makes it nice and spooky at night. Now let's go sneak in over here. And there's my lady from the Make and Take. The head was done at a Make and Take in Austin at Goth Gloom. And the pillar was another Kirby's find. We'll, we had to do a quick paint job on them this year. We'll uh, try and improve that next year here. And my innovative quick release for some of my entrance to my graveyard here. It's the service entrance. Now this tombstone was a storage tombstone, but we did a little bit of a paint job on it. I have to re-moss it, though, for this year. Here. 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 Bear with me while I jump through some of these branches. Look out, George, are you upset because your leg is broken? Friend's trying to dig his way out. Just because something's busted doesn't mean it makes me make a good grave marker. And here's what I meant about modifying. This one is the same as the one up front, but a little bit of paint made a big difference. Now let's go see the witch's area. My 
big project for this year. Here's the hutch that I built out of old fence boards that people threw away in the bottom to a desk. And my first two skids. My first two pallets. Another Kirby's find, the dresser. And another make and take critter. My little doll. And here we go, Solidarity Mushrooms, with their little spider guard. I'm watching you. And we put a salt lamp out here because the shelf was a little bit too dark to see detail, so we wanted to give people a good look. And this bowl had a mister in it, so it had lights and mist coming out of it. Another spider. Bambi over here just hanging out. And some of my first attempts at witch's jars. And my moldy old bread. A piece of styrofoam stuck to some flowers that were thrown away. We got critter pelt. And some ogre snot. And there we have it. Guard Haunt at Wolfsbane Hollow for 2013.